The Ministry of Defense has signed a 7,628 crore rupees contract with Lazen and Dubro for the procurement of 155 mm 52 caliber K9 Vajra howitzers for the Indian Army. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has delivered the INS Nilgiri Frigate and INS Shurat destroyer to the Indian Navy. According to reports by Russian media, Brahmos Aerospace is on the brink of securing another export deal for its Brahmos missile. The CEO of Tissencrypt Marine Systems has said that submarine manufacturing in India could reduce costs by up to 50%, positioning India as an attractive hub for not just domestic orders but also for global exports particularly to Southeast Asia and South America. Estonia's defense minister has announced that several major Indian companies are eager to invest in Estonia, particularly for the production of howitzers ammunition and armored vehicles. Indian Army has released a request for information for the local manufacturing of 40mm anti-drone ammunitions in India. India and Russia have signed an agreement to collaborate in the field of hydrographic survey and maritime safety. U.S. Deputy National Security Advisor John Finer has said that Pakistan is developing long-range ballistic missile capabilities that eventually could allow it to strike targets outside of South Asia, including the United States. Fifteen Kazakh paratroopers have started intensive training in the dense jungles of Mizoram, conducted at the Counter-Insurgency and Jungle Warfare School. Amid the renewed Russian push for Su-57E fifth-generation fighter jets to India, new reports suggest that the US might offer its F-35A to India, particularly after Pakistan's recent approval to acquire the Chinese J-35 stealth fighter. The upcoming Trump administration has been increasingly interested in strengthening its defense ties with India, and the potential sale of F-35 aligns with this strategy. While there are several challenges that could complicate the acquisition of the F-35A for India, like the Russian S-400 system and the high acquisition and maintenance costs of the F-35A, experts have said that if India goes ahead with the F-35A, it could lead to diplomatic repercussions and affect existing agreements between India and Russia. The Director General of Brahmos Aerospace has announced that the design phase for the Brahmos next generation missile has been successfully completed, and the development phase has now commenced. The length of the Brahmos NG is reduced from 9 meters to 6 meters, and the weight has been reduced to 1.5 tons, that will allow deployment on lighter platforms, including various types of fighter jets and smaller naval vessels. Brazilian aircraft manufacturer Embraer has confirmed that it has proposed its Breta 600 Super mid-size business jet for Indian Air Force's upgraded Netra Mark 1A program. The Breta 600 offers a better maximum cruise speed than the ERJ 145 and offers nearly double the operational range of the ERJ 145 and even has a higher service ceiling of 45,000 feet versus the 37,000 feet of the ERJ 145 that could potentially improve radar performance by allowing operations at higher altitudes. India has extended a significant offer to Vietnam to equip its 10 Su-27 and 35 Su-30 fighter jets with the Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missiles, a move that could further strengthen defense ties between the two nations. With more than 400 Astra Mark 1 missiles already ordered, the production capacity for the missile has been significantly ramped up to meet the growing demand. Today's Top 3 Comments